my loves thanks for returning i hope this video finds you happy and doing well as you know by the thumbnail this video is going to be on skincare products you probably don't need so if you're interested then just keep watching all right so before i get into it i want to get a little housekeeping out of the way if you're new here my name is bridget on this channel i do makeup videos skincare videos with a little bit of lifestyle sprinkled in so if that sounds like your cup of tea please consider subscribing to me i'd love to have you join the family all right so now that i have all that said i do want this video to be very lighthearted uh, because at the end of the day what works for me may not work for you and what works for you may not work for me if you are using or a step that um, i talk about during this video and it's working for you your skin is changing changing it's flourishing um you're where you want to be by all means definitely continue these are just steps and products that in my opinion i think probably could be omitted uh, for various reasons it could be the cost or it could be that they just don't work so let's get into the first one and the first products that i want to talk about are anti cellulite type of products and I'm definitely guilty of trying those type of products because you know I suffer from cellulite really bad on my legs even when I was a size 4 some years back I had cellulite really really bad I still have it bad on my legs and I know you're like Bridget lift weights diet exercise well I do I don't lift a lot of weights but anyway I digress anyway I thought it would be easier if I just try these products right <laughs> so these are products that I've tried and they just don't work the first one is the Clarence body fit anti-cellulite now let me just say something in regards to this one this one can trick you because when you first apply it it does appear to immediately tighten but it is short-lived so it's like you're really confused about it but um, um, it's also very, very, very heavily fragranted and it doesn't do much in the area of hydration and things like that. Of course, that's not what it claims, but yeah, this one didn't do anything for the cellulite. If you have something light, like maybe you want your arms tightened up a little bit or you have something very minimal, then maybe. But for a person like me, definitely not. The other one is the Caudalie Lift and Firm Body Cream. Man, I was bamboozled into this. This. Um, and I've like almost halfway fit oh more than halfway because I don't want to waste the money I think I spent $45 on this bad booger now let me tell you it is a very good moisturizer it's excellent for that but it's heavily 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 fragranted did I say that it's heavily fragranted it's heavily heavily fragranted and you all know what I think about fragrance but it's a body product but anyway I digress again this one does not work um, in my opinion, anti-cellulite uh, products, they just don't work on the skin. If you have one and you have actually seen results and you have like very serious problems with cellulite, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear about it. But anti-cellulite products, no. No, 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 no. All right, so the next one up is a tool, and this is a jade tool, and these are so popular. Now, if you have this particular tool and you have it uh, to use it for any type of anti-aging issues that you may be having, definitely is something that you don't need. From my understanding, it can be good for uh, lymphatic drainage, you know, for uh, massages on your face and things like that. And because it's supposed to be used cold, it can help with puffiness, that can be good. But as far as if you're using it for any type of anti-aging, uh, issues like wrinkles or things like that you can definitely ditch it that is something you probably don't need and I think that they're cute they're they are aesthetically pleasing to the eye I've never owned one but that's one thing you, you could save your coin on that one all right so next is a step that I think that you could skip does Bridget skip it? No, I use it religiously. I have for years and um, that's because I feel as though it works for me. And I've also tried omitting this step and then when I omit the step, I feel as though my skin looks different. Okay, let's say if I uh, decide to omit it for a week in my evening uh, skincare routine, it's just 
the my texture just the way my skin looks overall and that would be the use of essences I have two here I have others in my skincare um, the one that I've been using for years is the Primera I got this from Sephora some years back I'm down to half and this stuff is so good they don't even I think they only sell this on Amazon and for the life of me I cannot understand why because this one has some super good ingredients in it and after I wash my face I'll put it in my hand and I'll just kind of pat it on my face and then I'll go ahead with my other products another one that I've used that I've also enjoyed is the Laneige essence and to me the way my understanding of it is is that uh, essence of course you, it provides uh, nu nutrients and things like that but it just better um, prepares your skin for the upcoming steps like your serums your moisturizers etc etc that that's what an essence is and you know I don't it could be that I've just had it in my mind that I need to do this step, but uh, again, my skin just looks different. And I'm sure you all have a skincare routine that you all do religiously. And if you omit a step, you'll notice that your skin just not gonna look right. But in essence, I think you could probably omit that one. All right, so next up is a CBD oil. And I, let me tell you, there's a uh, oil by Strivectin uh, with the retinol that I absolutely cannot live without. I use it religiously every night, religiously, religiously. But I kind of want to talk about uh, CBD oils and I have one from Avon and I've switched, I stopped using it because it turned, I think it went rancid on me. It used to be clear, but now it's yellow. That I, I know that's not right, but I, I have, I wanted to pull this one out uh, to show you all. But CBD oils, um, I definitely think that that's uh, a, a step that you could definitely skip unless you have extreme extreme dry skin and you wanted to try a CBD oil for hydration and moisture and things like that but there's just not enough uh, studies now I'm not talking about uh, enough um, let's see videos or articles but I'm talking about actual case studies where people say that CBD oil uh, has this type of effect on anti-aging and things like that it's just not enough but so in my opinion, using a CBD oil would definitely be something that you could omit. Again, if you use it and you like it and it's working for you, definitely. I have another oil that I use religiously to apply in my very, very dry foundations. And when I mix that oil in, it gives the most beautiful, 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 did I say beautiful? Uh, beautiful appearance, be beautiful texture. And yes, you can add oils to your foundations, but I know the dry, the matte foundations, but I know you all already know that. But yeah, back on CBD oils, this is definitely a step that, you know, I, I, I think you can skip that because mm, there's no solid, solid, um, I don't want to say evidence, but I think that I would like to see more studies uh, backing up the anti-aging attributes of it. All right, so next type products that I think that you could definitely do without, not to say that they're not good, are the facial mist. And the one that I have is a rose mist. And, you know, rose, to have this particular rose mist is very nice. I don't mind the scent of rose. I think that it's very pleasant. I think that it feels good on the skin it's definitely something that you could skip um, unless let's say you have extremely dry skin and your work environment um, uh, makes it practical where you could just you know spray with a mist or something like that not all jobs allow you to just you know spray your face with a mist during the day but if it if you use it and it works for you definitely um, but I think that it's a step that could definitely be omitted. Maybe invest in another product, maybe like a high quality serum or a moisturizer. Um, but yeah, facial mist, definitely. I wouldn't, I really would, I don't bother too much with them. Um, are they nice? Yeah. Do they have nice ingredients in them? Yeah. Can you skip it? yeah so yeah that's it short and sweet let me know down in the comments what you think about the items that i talked about if i talked about a particular products that you definitely can't do without they're your ride or die they work every time let me know what they all right 